Welcome back. This is the month one results video. It's a 24 month challenge. We are taking 200 pound. It was 100 pound. It wasn't feasible with my cash flow. See my shorts. We're taking 200 pound and we're turning it into at least 100,000 pound in 24 months. This is month one and I'm showing you the results. You know the drill by now. If you want to get involved in the challenge, like the video, please leave a comment. If you're going along with me, please, please let me know how you're getting on. It's really important. I'm going to be starting a YouTube, uh, no, I'm going to be starting a Facebook group up soon. And I know I've been saying this for a month now. It's on the list, I promise you. Uh, also, ding, 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 down there, subscribe. Please subscribe. Uh, month one results, challenge, blah, 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 roll it. All right, here we go. Uh, I've, if you've seen my TikTok or I put it in the shorts, I've given a very quick update on to what the results were. This video is going to be breaking down exactly how I've tracked all of my inventory, the tables that I've been building in Google Sheets, and it will break down exactly how I game came to the figures that I've got, and then what my projections are for next month. All right, I'm going to flip the screen. We'll go to a screenshot. I'm no doubt the sound will change a little bit. Let's get into. Right then, these are our projections that we spoke about. 30% here, and there's our starting figure. Look, month one, 40% here, and 50% here. If we go back, we can see what 30% will look like at the end of the month, what 40% will look like at the end of the month, and then what 50% will look like at the end of the month. Standard stuff, right? Okay, so moving on, this is the inventory sheet that I've developed and kept. Uh, the ASINs and the SKUs, just so you know, I've tweaked them a little bit so they're not actual products, but the rest of the spreadsheet is fully legit. You can see the ASIN there, the SKU type there, the category of the product, the product itself. Now, the price is exactly as it sounds. It's the price I pay for the item. I deduct any cashback that I get if I go via top cashback. I also add on any UPS costs. The first bundle that I sent in, it worked out. Hang on a minute, let me do the maths on here. Just over £2.30. That was for the first package. After that, I got signed up as an Amazon business seller and I've got a bunch of credits, so my packages were free. Next column is the sent date. That's the date I sent the shipment into Amazon. One after that, the go live date, as it sounds, the date it went live. Then we've got the sale date, the date it actually sold. Next to that, we've got the amount of days between it going live and it selling, so I knew what a good product was. This is the price it sold for on Amazon. And then these next two columns, these are the big ones. How much I spent taking into account the cashback I got and the UPS costs. So how much actual money I laid out and then how much profit came back after the sale. This little nifty feature here, I tick this box, it goes from red to green, which means it's sold. Nice little feature. I was happy with myself there. Thank you very much. Right, as we scroll down, we get to the big numbers. These are the totals. So you can see I sent in 24 units last month. You can see the total price that it all cost, the total cash back, the total UPS cost, blah, 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 blah. We go to our big columns, the red and the green. So you can see that I laid out exactly £198.39 and my profit was £81.85 bringing my carryover into next month at £280.24. So this is my actuals. You've got my projections. These are my actuals. So I started with 19839. I ended with 28024. That's my profit of £81.85 and a percentage growth of over 40%. Chuff the bits with that. All right, so there we go. We got £280.24 in the bank rolling into next month. For the challenge, we've got 23 months left now to make £99,719.76p. I reckon we could do it. Uh, for next month, 
what I want to get involved in, bearing in mind we're going into November, I'm fully aware that the cutoff to get things into Amazon for Christmas will be probably a roughly the end of November. So for the month of November, I need to start getting ungated in several key things, namely toys. There's a couple of products that I've got in mind and definitely a couple of tutorials that I'd like to throw out there, but I've got to test it first to see if it even works. All right, so bear with me on that. Uh, the other thing that I need to get ungated in is baby feeding things because we are starting to look into the future into quarter one in the middle of what would be a terrible winter and a very likely worldwide recession. So if we're thinking about what we're doing for the end of Q4, we must be thinking about what we're doing to start Q1, right? And if you think about the way society is going and we've got to put our entrepreneur head on now, we've got to switch on now because it's no longer a side hustle. We are turning this into a business. And if you've got a business, you need to start thinking strategically. So quarter one, start thinking about the things people need to buy with the disposable income they're likely to have in the middle of a recession. Off the top of my head, and I've said this previously, baby things, pet things. These are necessities, they're not wants. People will always want the best for their babies and they will always want the best for their pets. So start looking at those sorts of products and sell during the winter months as we go into quarter one. When we go into quarter two, we've got things like Easter and we can start thinking about that later. But start thinking about your long-term strategy, okay? But other than that, all I need to do really is sign off and say thank you so much for following along. Please, like I've said before, if you are following along with me, few of you have put comments down below already, and I love that, by the way. I do read them all. We're all in this together as far as I'm concerned because no one else is coming to help us. I think that's it, but thanks again. I'll see you soon.